Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to go through a step-by-step -step guide how to create a fast installation media. And this will actually lead the OS installation process quick as well. Um, the idea for this video I've got after watching the uh, some Russian Hackintoshers video on YouTube, which I will uh, link his channel um, in the video description below. So, first things first, what you're going to need is you're going to have to download a um, OS image, which I have downloaded here, as you can see, install macOS Big Sur. Um, you, can do th you can do it various ways, really. Um, you can use just a uh, regular App Store to download an image, or you can use Git macOS, like I did here. As you can see, I have some, some like three, three years downloaded like Catalina, Mojave, and Big Sur. Uh, in this example, we're gonna go through um, creating installation media for uh, Big Sur. So the idea is that we're gonna use the actual SSD drive instead of USB drive. Um, so what we have to do is just to open this utility first. And we're gonna create a new partition for um, for the OS installation media on this SSD drive. So click on Container Disk Two, uh, and we're gonna create a new partition. Make sure you have the partition at the end of the disk, so it doesn't interfere with your EFI folder and all sorts. Um, twenty, I'd say twenty gigabytes should be plenty for any of us. Um, we're going to call this like install and have this uh, formatted as macOS extended journal. You can do it, you can do it as APFS as well, but uh, I tend to use it macOS extended. Right, click apply, partition. So the idea is that we're going to use this partition to install the OS to any other partitions. Um, and instead of using USB drive, we will we'll have much greater speeds because we're using SSD and SSDs are um, much quicker than USBs anyway. And we also eliminate some USB related errors as well because it's just going straight from, from SSD drive instead of USB. So let's wait until the partition is finished. And here it is. Right, so we have the install partition. So now uh, we have to, because we have the image here, now we have to find the terminal command um, um, used to install Big Sur. So what I'm going to use is USB um, USB um, how to make Big Sur USB terminal. Let's do that. Here it is. This is this this is the website I use. So for Big Sur, we're going to use this command, and instead, at the very end of this command, you will see we're going to change the path. So the path will be um, our SSD partition that we just created, right? So we just copy this um, path terminal command. Now let's launch terminal. Um, control V. And now instead of, we're going to have to change this path to our SSD. 
and the path uh, this is D is this one so we can just right click on copy delete this and command V and click yes enter the password and you will see how quickly we, we can create the actual USB not uh, not USB but the actual install media on this SSD in comparison with the USB because usually it takes like around well 10 15 sometimes 20 minutes depending on the how quick your USB is so right yes you see how quickly we will create and install media you see copying disk zero and you'll see how quickly it goes to 100 it literally take like 30 seconds or so I think on NVMe this would be even quicker than that because I have my SATA SSD is like 500 and 500 read and write so it's not that quick it's just your know, ordinary SSD drive you see how quickly it writes to the disk let's wait until it finish this is like real-time copying to disk and here it is our install image is created this is the image this is the image that we're going to use to install macOS Big Sur. And what you have to do if you don't have any like operating system or so you can have like a USB, just format it if you are on Windows, just format it as FAT32 system and just put your EFI, like open core EFI folder there. Um, and uh, just boot from it and select this drive to install OS. Um, now we're gonna go to the actual uh, open core menu so you will see that this this is the actual image that we can install from will be in a sec okay let's reboot and you see the system booting and here it is your macOS Big Sur that we just created and if you choose that then we'll go straight to the installation and that's about it okay thank you for watching found, I hope that you found this useful and maybe you're gonna try it as well okay bye for now